Well, it's a cold morning and uh, I was just checking my email. I noticed this email announcing that uh, AMD has released its Radeon Crimson update. Now that's really good news and something I was waiting for uh, because at least in my case the Catalyst Control Center was not really uh, not really working properly so um, I have had a lot of issues with Windows 10. So let's see if I can download and install it on my uh, on my laptop. So here we go I have already downloaded the file and it's ready to install. Well, the installer looks pretty much the same as the Catalyst Control Center. Okay, so now it's going to restart, let's wait it out. <laughs> I'm excited to see what happens after this. Wow, so now we have the Radeon Crimson installed and uh, this time I'm really hoping for some big performance improvements. Well the menu seems changed and the switchable graphics option is missing. Uh, it just seems to be made for Windows 10, that's really good. I think it's e even easier to find the uh, settings you're looking for uh, considering the fact that uh, they have uh, relocated the settings under uh, various tabs uh, that make this job easier. So uh, apart from the user interface let's see uh, what else has changed. And now as you can see the startup impact has reduced to a low. Now that is fairly impressive because and it was marked as one of the applications that has the highest impact on startup. That's not a very good thing for you uh, people if you're using a mechanical hard drive. Well the second big improvement is that I think the software is more stable now. Even if I put my laptop to sleep and uh, wake it up again and again, uh, the driver doesn't really seem to crash. There are no blackouts, nothing at all and that was quite a common issue with Catalyst Control Center. So this is a welcome improvement and uh, I'm really liking the software. As for the graphics performance, uh, I wasn't really expecting a very huge uh, difference but uh, still the graphics performance actually, it, uh, it seems like it has improved but uh, running the benchmarks, I don't see a very huge difference. The Catalyst Control Center was uh, performing pretty much the same as the Crimson Driver is. Uh, so I don't see a huge difference there. I don't think I'll really uh, notice such a small difference. So if you haven't installed the Crimson Driver yet, I think you really should go ahead and install it. It's definitely worth it. Thanks for watching and if it helped you, please hit like, subscribe to my channel and stay updated with more similar videos.